from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi Singh. Gary Nell is just like any other media executive, constantly looking to evolve along with their digital landscape. It's why he's spending at least part of his short visit in the Adirondacks, sharing his thoughts on the future of national public radio. Let's call it a Pandora for news. And the idea is really that you can, if you're interested in science news, or you're interested in Syria, or you're interested in environmental coverage, you're going to be able to actually, through smartphone applications, um, tell your listening experience that, and then it will be, uh, it will then automate such to curate a daily playlist of the types of content that you want to hear. It's what Pandora does for music, using algorithms to create an individualized auditory experience. User customization is just one direction the executive feels NPR needs to go to keep up. We're living in a world now where audio, video, and so-called print, as in the, the written word, come together. So ABC News does print, the New York Times does video, NPR and PBS need to do all of the, all of the above. And this kind of journalism is, is the, the next generation of what NPR is about. It obviously has its roots in audio and in radio, in audio-based storytelling. It shouldn't give that up. That, that's a very unique, special thing to own, in quotes. Um, but I think we need to branch out and continue to branch out in all of these different platforms. Though they bring in an estimated 35 million listeners every week, he admits there are pockets of people who have never even heard of NPR. He hopes the more interest-based digital approach will continue broadening their reach to new audiences. People are going to be able to pull and pick together the things that they're most interested in. And we know that younger people um, are not reading print newspapers. We know that they're probably not even listening so much to traditional radio as we know it, but they're very interested in stories. They're very interested in specific individuals. So someone like Ira Glass has a huge following, or a show like Radio Lab, which is promoting physics lessons. You can get 2,000 people um, packed into the Brooklyn Academy of Music wanting to listen to a lecture about physics and everyone there is under the age of 30. That's what we need to tap into. It's about engagement, it's about storytelling, it's about helping people understand the context of the world.